An inspiring quote by Barbara Pletcher reads, The real winners in life are the people who look at every situation with an expectation that they can make it work or make it better. Good evening everyone, I'm Theresa Miria and welcome to the 42nd episode of House at Home. Knowing that the graded students have started their examinations yesterday, best of luck to you all from the House at Home team. Take care, eat well, rest well and give your best. Moving on to tonight's show, we have a great lineup for you all, and that includes Shopping with Brian Bell, Animal Plus, Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, Cooking with House and Home, Healthy Living with Mila, and finally, Plus Bill and Yumi. Now to start of the show, here's Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm Jane Tokilala. And I'm Marco Nadrina. Welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell. The Integrity brand is a popular brand found in our small appliance section where we have a wide range of portable cooktops. This brand can also be found in our Beltronic section where we have available the Integrity TV. Moreover, here at Brian Bell, there is a wide selection of brands to choose from. So basically what I'm saying is that Brian Bell has something for everyone. So in tonight's Shopping with Brian Bell, we will be featuring the Integrity Portable and Upright Stoves, which we have available. Our first product features this portable electric oven with hot plates. This product is perfect for any family size and as you can see, it will not occupy a lot of space. It is convenient where it can be moved around easily and or to suit user's discretion. It features two functions which you have the oven and hot plate stove. It has a spacious oven with 53 litre capacity. It has a 60 minute timer with bell for user's convenience and top and bottom heating simultaneously. This product is perfect for any cooking. It's so easy to clean and it's on sale at the moment. There is also available the portable gas stove which includes an oven and four banner stove. This is suitable for a small to medium sized family and due to its conveniently small size, it can fit into any area within your home. So you don't have to worry about it occupying more space. It is also perfect for a village setting. It features electric igniter which makes it easier to light up so user doesn't have to use a match. It's called an electric igniter because it comes with a power cord which needs to be switched on to light up the stove. So do drop by to your nearest Brian Bell Home Centre and check out these amazing portable stoves. Now still with the Integrity brand, let's go check out our upright stoves. We have available this black in colour, four banner gas stove with oven. This black in colour, four banner gas stove is smaller in size and suitable for any home. It's perfect for a small to medium sized family. It's got a spacious oven which is perfect for baking and roasting. For convenience, it's got an electric igniter for easy light up. For those of you who prefer electric stove, there is available the hot and coil integrity electric stove. This is a good enough size to suit any home and suitable for any family size. The four banners will allow you to cook up multiple dishes for your family and the, its three core functions, the grill, the oven and hot plates, will allow you to cook up a variety of dishes that your family will love. It comes with wire trays, a grill pan and a grill tray. Beyond that, you can set cooking times with its easy to use front controls. Now you cannot enjoy using the oven without these complimentary products. We have available baking trays of all sorts cooking racks, wire cake 
coolers, aprons of all sorts, oven mittens, pot holders and much more little essential items which will assist you in the kitchen. For customers who are interested in purchasing stoves with us and not familiar with the installation, then do not worry, just let us know. So installation can be professionally done by our specialist at, at the service centre. For the bargain hunters, I've got great news for you because currently running is our Brian Bell Media Sale on selected items. So make sure you drop by your nearest Brian Bell Home Centre to check out this great offer and be part of it before it actually ends. Now you know you can turn to us simply because you're backed up by Brian Bell's warranty, service and spare parts. So remember, great products, great prices. That's Brian Bell. Until next time. Happy shopping. Have a great week. There you go viewers, Brian Bell has just showcased some of their amazing products. Like they always say, great products, great prices, that's Brian Bell. Stay where you are as we'll be back with Animal Plus with House and Home. Hi everyone, this is Animal Plus with House and Home. I'm Theresa Miria and it's so good to be back again here at the Port Mosby Nature Park. Always active and ever devoted to promoting Papua New Guinea's amazing flora and fauna. And the fact that they keep coming up with more educational programs with the aim of combating cruelty and animal trafficking. Now let's find out what we'll be looking at for this bit. All right, if this is your first time watching Animal Plus with House and Home, Mr. Bebe is one of the education officers here at the Port Mosby Nature Park and he's been so helpful in identifying Papua New Guinea's native wildlife. Hi everyone, welcome to Animal Place. Uh, on this episode, we're gonna look at one of the um, freshwater turtles, and it's called the uh, red-bellied. And I have with me my friend here. Um, I'm going to pick uh, Shelly up. Uh, we, we give names to animals here at Port Mosby Nature Park, and therefore here, I have Shelly with me, and I'm going to pick Shelly up for us to see um, how Shelly looks like, okay? And Shelly is a freshwater turtle. Um, so this is Shelly. Um, Shelly is a female um, red-bellied, uh, New Guinea red-bellied freshwater turtle, as you can see here. Uh, the pl plastron here is the shell here that is called plastron. It's red in color. And this side of the turtle here is called uh, carapace. Okay, and the whole body is attached to these two shell. And this turtle here is, um, is found in freshwater and lakes. And also you can find these ones, these freshwater turtles in, um, uh, in the swamps. They have a web feet here. Now this feet here, as you can see here, Shelly has a web feet and um, it helps them to swim in water. And also when they come out of water, because they are reptiles, they come from the family of reptiles, they like to sunbath. Um, to increase the body temperature because reptiles, one fact about reptiles is that they need energy from external sources to increase the body temperature. So Shelly has a web feet here and it helps Shelly to swim in water. In the wild, Shelly feeds entirely on insects and um, berries or uh, some plants and it's referred to as uh, 
Shell is an uh, omnivorous uh, reptile, uh, so it feeds entirely on uh, insects and um, berries. The, the status of this reptile here in the wild is um, there's a healthy population in the wild, but due to the mortality rate in the wild, they have uh, fall prey to the other sources like uh, predators in, in the natural habitat like crocodiles, snakes, uh, monitor lizards, and also including human beings. Human beings, they kill this um, reptile for uh, uh, this, this animal here. And this animal here in the ecosystem, they play a very important role in the ecosystem. They are referred to as uh, cleaners and they also clean the waterways for us human beings. We human beings, we cannot do that, but this uh, creatures here, yeah, they do that for us and they are special animals uh, that, do, that does that for us. And um, my message to you viewers out there, uh, especially adults or children, you're coming to Potmos Nature Park, enjoying the programs here and looking at the beautiful animals and the fascinating animals that we kept here at uh, Potmos Nature Park. It's really important and what, I have two messages here to give you and one is please do not buy animals when they are being sold on the streets. Uh, it is called animal trafficking and locals around Port Mosby and I believe some parts of the country, they are not realizing that some of these animals here, they play a very important role in the ecosystem. And when we buy animals, we are encouraging them to bring the animals out from the wild, which I believe it's the best place where they live in and they breed. And therefore, please do not buy animals. Because when you buy animals, that is called animal trafficking, you are encouraging animal trafficking indirectly. And number two, uh, do not buy bush meat because when you start buying bush meat, meaning animals, the wild animals that are sold on the markets here in Port Mosby or around the country, you are encouraging people from bringing the animals out. So this is my message to you out there viewers, please, if you come to the market or if you see someone selling animals on the streets, please do not do these two things. Uh, from me here at Port Mosby Nature Park and Shelley here, the New Guinea red-bellied um, freshwater turtle, uh, it's bye for now. Thank you, Mr. Bebe, for making known to us the New Guinea red-bellied turtle. For sure, it is a must that we educate our young people and also the mass population about the significance of taking care of our native wildlife. Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi is coming up, so stay tuned. Having a healthy mind develops a stress-free lifestyle. As humans, to keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our minds strong and clear. Viewers, don't forget to take notes. Here's more on Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. Enjoy. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. We was welcome to our Healthy Mind program. Well, I'm sure you're going to look for good wins today. I'm by myself to give you some good news about bullying in schools. Well, this afternoon, what will I say about bullying? Because plenty old Papa Mama am come asking me, Lord, talk about bullying or bringing children to our clinic to talk about bullying and getting help. Well, this evening, me like talk, Savi also, me like update him, like, like knowledge about bullying in the school. So Papa, Mama, na school, na me pla can kiss him some pla Savi lo this lana look out him pick nini blow you me straight through. Bullying actually occurs in children where they are exposed to a negative action. So when you talk about negative action, we are talking about getting hit or by teasing, people get teased and threatening and also calling names. So you will see there are a lot of kids, they go through this issue day to day in their schools. But why? Because it can be either by one child or group of kids that 
if it's one child, a child can be very strong child, or he can be a bigger one, or that is a group of children. They get together to call names or hit another child, and you will understand or you will think, who are the kids who get bullied most of the time? It's most of the time the kids who are anxious or passive that, you know, only quiet, now only no man, or pekinini lo opi mouse, now bite, or this like kind. Physically weak, some like kids or same, you know, strong low body blong also all weak straight. So children are, these are the children most likely to be bullied. Now, one plus something, em, worry all papa, mama, na all, all get even teachers or even kids are cyberbullying. What is cyberbullying? Is now you may savvy or some technology, you may change pennies, you may got mobile phones. Yeah, so, what happens? Through the mobile phones, you can get text or you can get emails, you can access to many things and social media. And what happens? This group of some children are very good in bullying another children. So they start calling names in the like social media or or bagarapim name blongol or they start teasing and also humiliate the children, make him all cross no good through now picking or feel him, you know, hamama straight. Some time they can be also threatened. So what happens? It is a child who get always uh, in the, in the upset and they become they don't do their school works right and. It, it shows their character, their behavior. They can become behavioral disorder like last time we talked about. Also, we must remember these are kids from eight to 10 years old who can be common to get bullied. So I've seen the kids, those who are going to schools at the age of, uh, you know, very young age, going to school and lick lick all narapla piknini kerapna, walking out this la passing, yeah. Amy bring him all same, some time, most of the time it occurs among boys. So if the boys are bullying the boys, you will see that they beat the other boys or calling names, hit, tease and all that. But girls, what do they do? The girls also bully the other girls because I've seen many kids from the schools, girls who have been teased by the girl and they mainly they use words to bugger up him all think thing blong all or make him all uh, you know think thing you know right or feel him all same or this like kind. So you know all same lick lick one plat time or two plat time and make him this line nah, it's bullying but the most of the time teachers they don't know what is going on. So what happens the children don't even uh, tell their parents, don't tell their children, and they don't go to school. They refuse to go to school or they run away and they can become very depressed. Some of time attempted suicide or cut, trying to kill themselves. So bullies are often very aggressive children, show antisocial behavior and behavioral problem like Goodwin and I talked about uh, the e emotional disorder and behavioral disorder. Now these are kind of speaking in here and by working all same they are poorly supervised at home and also parents are themselves are aggressive. So you have a penis or same example likely talk some law type of bullying and what happens and all these things can bring children to not to concentrate in their schools. So what can we do? Well viewers will should school must take these things very seriously? I think so because we have seen a lot of kids can be emotionally abused, you know, bullied and behavioral abused children. They all can, over the period of time, can cause mental health issues at the young children time or even when they grow up, they, their personalities can change. So what can be done? or what can we do about it, the bullying in school. And I'm sure many of you are looking for a suggestion and I'm sure all the suggestion I say tonight, tonight may not be the right ones, but some of time it can be very useful. So I want to talk about the health professionals, patients and school, including uh, the children. When they come to the hospital, we take a good history and we not only history from the children but parents and schools. Now some of the tips we can si simply remove bullying from school or reduce bullying at school. I want to say one some of the points for the school authorities. 
what can we do to the school authorities? Well, the school authorities must be able to talk to the head teacher. They shouldn't take to themselves and do uh, not active work to stop the you know head teacher. We have to talk to the authorities. Should talk to the uh, you know the head teacher and clear. They must get a clear expectations to take up you know take up uh, some kind of issues to to the right place to reduce the problem because to provide because the authorities may uh, bring negative impact to the head teacher but they, what they should do to encourage the head teacher and support the head teacher to bring good academic results so that you by doing that they might be able to uh, look after their teachers class teachers and children's and so on now what will the head teacher should do so i'm not uh, educationist to tell but these are the simple points the head teacher must teach or uh, educate the nurture the staff especially that weak ones that there are some teachers who may not be able to stand firm so you need to nurture the head teacher should nurture with good and love to stop especially the weaker ones and then the number two make sure it is understood by all teachers then students students that bullying is not acceptable in that school number three make sure the teachers understand that uh, the the, the children to be humility that be happy in the class and acceptable acceptable to every children and give them love and encourage and among all students and well at school you know playground you must be well supervised because sometime the most of this issue happen at the back of the toilets or somewhere very quiet so the playgrounds and toilets should be well supervised and be available the parents you know be available for parents to come and talk to you and also arrange meeting and also prohibit mobile phones at the school well, it, those are some of the very important issues for the head teacher to take care of that. So what should the class teachers do, should do? They should inter introduce co like cooperative learning and in small groups and be available for parents when they want to talk, have class and you know, about or class rules about bullying and mobile phone should not be used in the phone and praise the class when the bullying is not there because especially when they are being good every other class time when the bell rings praise them for what they are ensure that bullying is identified and the bully the whoever is bullying should be talked everything very seriously and no pro, no not to humiliate the child do it in the right way so the child also understand be prepared to bring that you know to the to talk to the parents and bring them well well last lastly what should i say parents you make sure your children are in the right order and they must tell you when they are bullied be nice to the kids and give them love so they can tell you be prepared and also talk talk about talk to the head teachers and teachers and cooperate with the school rules and well all whatever the messages whatever they do cooperate with them because that's how we can reduce and remove bullies from the school these are small and simple steps and to every one of us and every organization will take care we can remove bullies from the school because that's one of them is causing a lot of trouble to our children and that also contributing towards their personality development well viewers you have heard a wonderful thing about bullying in school until next time take care and god bless you all bye bye now This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. That was Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi on bullying in schools. It's a must that parents watch over their children and get to know them personally because it is sad to see most parents don't really know their own children because they don't get to spend time with them resulting in their children being disrespectful, etc.
Welcome back. Now we take a look at cooking with house and home. Grateful to have Chef Jason from Karama Hotel showing us one of his delicious recipes. Enjoy. Here once again, good uh, evening everybody. Once again, at your service, Chef Jason, cooking for the night. Menu for the night is uh, roasted chicken. Uh, first, we do marinating. Here it comes. Start. Put theme sauce. Seasoning powder. Black pepper. A little bit sugar. Okay. The red wine. Just a little bit. Lastly, the olive oil and then mix all together. You can eat, uh, you can rub it as you want. This is the very quick uh, cooking of chicken. Uh, like you are walking around, put in the oven, wait until one hour, and then your chicken is cooked. Rub it properly. This is it. It's already parallel. This is already marinated. You can leave it uh, around 30 minutes. Since we use rubbing, it's easy for the sauce go inside. Do like this. And then it's ready. Put on the pan. No need to put on oil on the pan because it's already put by olive oil on the chicken. Okay. Heat up your oven 350 degrees and then put your chicken. Okay. Leave it until uh, one hour and the chicken is cooked. With our Finish roasted chicken. And then, since one hour of waiting, let me you hungry already. This is it. This is our finished product for tonight, roasted chicken, and this is it, roasted chicken, and good night. Oh wow, that was Chef Jason from Karma Hotel showing us how to prepare roasted chicken. Thank you Chef Jason, I'm sure our viewers out there can't wait to see more of your recipes. We'll go for a short breather and we'll catch up on the other side with healthy living with the beautiful Mila. Living healthy and living a healthy lifestyle must always be top priorities for every individual, whether young or old. Everyone has the right to have the best in life. Let's take a look at Healthy Living with Mila.
Now this time, they are going to show you the cool down. This is in preparation to return the body temperature back into normal, the heart rate back to normal, the muscles back to normal from constri constricting, tightening up, and loosening it up, okay? And this is also to avoid getting injury of not stretching the entire of the body. Likewise, it's great for flexibility. Okay, guys, are we ready? First thing that I want you to go, guys, is lie down on your back. Extend both of your legs. Okay, now arms on the side. And don't forget, breathe in and breathe out. Now, one of your legs, right leg, bring it 90 degrees from your hip. Okay, grab your uh, back of your knee and we are going to stretch the hamstring. Pull it as high as you can. You can also bring your, your hands right on the top if you are so flexible enough or on your toes like what Rafaela is doing. This is great for the hamstring, the muscle behind your leg. Okay, you count five, four, three, two, and rest. And bend your knees, foot on top of your opposite legs and grab that leg towards your chest. And what we are stretching here is the glutes, the left side of the glutes. You always have to stretch one, side of your body to another and uh, count it for five four three two and one and release now the next one is your lower body stretch look opposite and you can see the twisting of the trunk here and this is great to stretch your lumbar or your lower body wherein a lot of people is suffering of that illness and five four three two one and release and stretch now guys what i want you to do is you sit up please beautiful okay extend move yourself right back Extend your leg straight, straight, point your toes up, arms over your head, straight chest out, and try to just bend it from your hip, okay, try to toe, touch your toes. And this is also great for your hamstring and also your lower back. Five four three two and one and release okay from here guys elbows touch your elbows opposite okay and bring it right back your hands towards your scapula or your behind your shoulder and press and what we're doing here, we are stretching the tricep. Okay. Release your arms. Hang on, hang on. Follow me, guys. The same arms across your chest. The same arms across your chest. And press. And you can feel it on your deltoids. Okay. And that is how you stretch the big muscles on your upper arm five four three two and release now opposite arms for your tricep good inhale and exhale tricep well done good posture Five, 
four, three, two, and across your arms, across your chest, for your deltoid. Beautiful, look at that deltoid, sexy. Keep breathing, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Now, I want you to bring one of your arms to the front. What we are going to do here is to stretch the lower part of your arms, that muscle, the brachis. So flex your wrist, hold it, and just slightly. This is what we are forgetting to stretch. We need to strengthen and also to stretch this part of muscles because this is the one that gives the strength of our wrist. Once that our wrist is, is weak, we could not use it because this part here of the muscles is weak. Okay, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. And the other side. Yep. Perfect. Open your palm. Okay, and then flip it towards your back. Okay, relax your, your arms and back. Can you feel your, can you feel your bicep? This is what it is. Night, relax your shoulder, relax your shoulder. Yes, this is what we are stretching. Perfect, excellent. The bicep is where your, the front of your upper arm, where the muscle is. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Now let's find out more on Place Bilong Yumi, the continuation of the herbal shop, Garden Lifestyle. Now last week, or let's say last month, you got the chance to see what exactly the Garden Lifestyle shop does in terms of herbal products and services. We will now continue on with the Garden Lifestyle shop and discover the achievements the herbal products sold have had in terms of healing individuals' illnesses and mending whatever conditions they once had. Clans Herb is made from the vegetables and fruit fibers such as palm oil, apples, and so on and so forth. Cryptomonadellus, or aka crypto, was created by the scientist Professor Wang Sang Te, who studied a particular algae for 30 years and found that the algae has the properties of three different food groups that gives us food nutrients. This herbal product was further used by NASA as a food supplement for astronauts to consume in space. Pie water. The full name is Tarama Pai Water. Tarama is derived from an Indian lily that grows in a dirty pond. And so, in order to survive, it filters itself continuously, hence the name Tarama Pai Water. Pai Water still holds the title as the best water produced locally by the Nari Research Institute. These three main products will be what our two testimonials tonight will be most likely about. So have a look and be amazed at what this product does for all. Helen George hails from the beautiful Southern Highlands province. She has suffered from high blood pressure and stress mostly from work. After using the herbal products for about a year now, she is now completely rid of the problems she once had and is testifying to show you all that these herbs really do work wonders for people facing the same problems. It's almost a year we've been taking this old medicine, especially pee water. I go for pee. I don't know. Me got sick. Me got stressed, and then chest pain because of work pressure. So 
So I'm even calm. Maybe some pie, uh, pee water, cleanser, cleanser, and then crypto. Okay, first maybe click some cleans. Maybe asking only function block cleanser. Now we've been talking about cleanser. It's a food supplement. It doesn't have any side effects. No got no good longer. No got good love longer. Okay, cleanser and block cleanser more get the data inside. Like it's a I'm kind of some broomy. You broomy mouse and brush out some got a pee Cleanse too, but one kind work. I'm so going to brush some got a toxins for me. After cleanse, you get crypto. Crypto is very nice. It's very nice. All sea, all fish, the stable sea, they live on this here, crypto. Like in brief, you can stay for 100 years. Remember, boost the immune system. I mean, you've been asking, but time you've been trying crypto, you can boost more white cells for me. Human system for me, it's very nice. Like, me increase my appetite, I don't need. it. Work pressure go, it's off the solar bed. But since me taking cleans on the crypto, you can boost the immune system for me, and then changes the kilo for me. Even my studies too, like, me can remember in three flex number like 12, 12, 36 numbers, me can think, that me been taking clean, you go on a crypto. But after this too, because me not sick, I live on pie water. I take two pie water plus one coffee. Each day, me start taking. Like I spend 20 for each day. Six days, 140, 120. And the pie water, um, pure water, it's very nice. It's multi-purpose, it's multi-purpose. You know, you got sick, that's when I use him. Like seventy five percent blame me, body blame me, I'm needing water. So pure water is very nice. Time me taking pure water. I don't take normal water. I don't take normal water. And one good thing about this container is energizer. After drinking this pure water, when it's empty, you can always refill again. And then you leave it for a while and then you test it. It's really energized. It's normal like pure water. She has helped brought in plenty of people, including a baby suffering from malnourishment and a HIV infected person who all have recovered tremendously. But another testimony of her struck me with amazement. Meridian life of staff me ask him, can I try this lot chicks? Because me is a look at your baby kakaro. Not again, you can try. So what I did is me buy him three platters on. Let me go try more baby chicks here. Or lose him kaike, start I or lose him. Because time will drink him this la and me increase him. Fats blog all yeah, so lose some kaike. Let me lose some between five months, uh, six weeks, less than six weeks. Let me start selling chicken for 40 gina. Less than six weeks, let me start selling for 40 gina. Me lose some. What I'm working. Okay, let me eat some local thing more orchid plants. Me buy me carong laos. Let me lose some. All insects, all insects, all bagara be more leafy. Let me talk. Let me try this pure water. So me grab me walking all, and then me spray my table all leafy. Me all monitor more plants. Let me like. All the chains, me no give more stuff. All when I blow all plants, eh? me use them to slap pure water. Me no use all plants, blow me on chains. All grow healthy stuff. I made me proud. So I'm like, oh, this water is very nice. The second lady you see tonight is Glenda Kalvali, and she comes from Hula and Wanigela. She suffered from bronchitis since birth and also being overweight after having her wonderful children. She is feeling and looking marvelously better than ever after taking these herbal products. This is what she had to say. And it worked wonders on me. I had my energy level back. I could do things that I, I, I couldn't even do. And I had more energy to move around and then I could actually remember things and um, I could play again, you know. I put so much weight on. Back in the school, my school friends who, are, who know me, I was a sprinter and I held records. But then after all the years of having children and all that and my eating habits had really blew me up to a very big woman. But after I took all these things, I could run again. I went, to, I went back to rugby union. I started playing rugby union and I went back to sports, netball, everything. I had my lifestyle back. Apart from that overweight recovery, her short-sighted condition was completely healed after using pie water and by doing that she was pouring it into her eyes where now she does not require to wear any glasses. Here's how she was cured of bronchitis. I was born with bronchitis. I almost died at the age of 8 years old. And it, it sort of faded away as I grew up. But I developed because of my naughty habits of smoking and developed again. That was when I went back to the doctors, they told me you're gonna go on the inhaler, the, the puffer. So I went back on, but since I've been taking this, the puffer is, I, I don't waste 15 kina, 30 kina on the puffer anymore. 
I'm perfectly fine. I went back and they checked my lungs are fine, everything's fine. Helen George. Glenda Calvalli. Apart from these two amazing women, there are countless others with similar stories in different situations and are seen as testimonies on the walls of Garden Lifestyle. Through the blessings and support and also the miracles of the herbal products, they now can face another day smiling like they are now. That was the continuation for Garden Lifestyle. Thanks to Glenda Cole Valley and Helen George for sharing with us their testimonies on what results the herbal products have had on them. Anyways, it's time to leave you now, but like I always say, please visit our Facebook page, like it, and share with us your peace of mind and what you'd like to see more of in the program. As usual, on behalf of the House and Home team, have a pleasant night and a great week. About the better man for your life with house and home.